Open up resources, 8th grade illustrative math, unit 2, lesson 4, dilations on a square grid. Problem number 1, triangle ABC is dilated using D as the center of dilation with scale factor 2. The image is triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Claire says the two triangles are congruent because their angle measures are the same. Do you agree? Explain how you know. Congruent triangles would have the same angle measures and the same side lengths. Since these two triangles do not have equal side lengths, they are not congruent triangles. Problem number two. On graph paper, sketch the image of quadrilateral PQRS under the following dilations. The dilation centered at R with scale factor 2. Since the dilation centered at R locate point R, and since it's a scale factor of 2, you'll have to multiply the distance between R and S by 2. You start at point R and go twice the distance, taking you past point S. Now do the same with point R and point Q. Start at R, go to Q, and then past point Q so that you've gone two times the distance from R to Q. And finally, we can do the same thing with point R and point P. You're going to go twice the distance of point R to point P, taking you past point P. Draw your new points and connect the points, and this shows the dilation of quadrilateral PQRS with a scale factor of 2. The dilation centered at point O with a scale factor of 1 half. First locate point O and begin placing points that go halfway between point O and the other points. I'm putting the point halfway between point O and point Q. Now I'm putting a point halfway between point O and point R. Next, I'll draw a point halfway between point O and point P. And last, I'll put a point halfway between point O and point S. Once I've marked all the points for the dilation, I can connect the points so you can see what a dilation with a scale factor of one half looks like. The dilation centered at S with a scale factor of one half. First I need to locate point S because it's the center of the new dilation. Then I need to place new points for the dilation halfway between point S and each of the other points. I'll start with point R, then point Q, then point P. Now I can connect the points so that we can have a look at the new dilation with a scale factor of one half. Problem number three from eighth grade unit one lesson 14. The diagram shows three lines with some marked angle measures. Find the missing angle measures marked with question marks. Since I know that two supplemental angles total 180 degrees, I'm going to draw this line and use the information that they gave me to figure out the missing angle. 180 degrees minus 27 degrees equals 153 degrees, so this first missing angle measures 153 degrees. Let's go back to the angle that measures 27 degrees. Its vertical angle also measures 27 degrees, so we can change that question mark to 27 degrees. And the remaining question mark for the group of angles on the right hand side is the vertical angle of 153 degrees. Let's use the information that they gave us on the left side of this problem. 180 degrees minus 35 degrees equals 145 degrees. So the missing angle is 145 degrees and its vertical angle is also 145 degrees. Well you notice there's still one more question mark and that question mark is the vertical angle 
for the angle that measures 35 degrees. So its measure would also be 35 degrees. Problem number four from eighth grade unit one, lesson four. Describe a sequence of translations, rotations, and reflections that takes polygon P to polygon Q. A 90 degree rotation to the right and translate until the corresponding vertices match up. Problem number five, from eighth grade unit one, lesson six. Point B has coordinates negative two and negative five. After a translation four units down, a reflection across the y-axis, and a translation six units up, what are the coordinates of the image? I chose to use a piece of graph paper to help me keep track of all these moves. I drew an X and Y axis and I drew the point at negative two and negative five. First, I need to go four units down. To help me keep track, I'll draw a new point at four units down. Next, I need to make a reflection across the Y axis. So I've drawn a new point across the Y axis. And finally, I'll make a translation six units up and the coordinates of the point are two and negative three.